In the modern day, talk a little bit about when uh, paper money basically unhooked from gold and how the Federal Reserve works with the banks now to create money. It's a big, complicated, organizational, bureaucratic chart of how money is made. Richard Nixon took us off the gold standard in the early 1970s because we were undergoing really a lot of inflation. It was called the Great Inflation. People attribute this back to the, the Vietnam War, there's so much spending, and we needed a way to sort of retain the value of the dollar. So he goes on TV during an, before an episode of Bonanza, <laughs> and he says, we're cutting suspending convertibility to gold, and that was the end of Bretton Woods. Since that time, um, the dollar has lost about 83% of its purchasing power. You know, the dollar continues to decline in terms mm -hmm. of how much uh, it can buy. And so that is attributable to inflation, right? Because we keep on printing more and more money. And when you print more of something, that decreases its value. Mm. So it's the 1970s, Richard Nixon. Um, and so I think we haven't seen incredible inflation materialize right now, but you know, almost every, I've looked at 5,000 years of monetary history, it oh. never ends well. Like, you know, <laughs> meaning you print, 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 and it's hard yeah. to curb that printing. Right. So that's the modern example of, of the gold standard. How money is made, so the federal government says, oh, we want to m put more money into the economy. So the Federal Reserve goes to the banks, essentially, and says, loan out more money. And so when the bank loans money to you, that's creating money in into the system. Um, is that fair? Is it fair, because is it fair for private corporation banks to create money? It's a matter of debate. You know, is, is money a public resource? Well, when there's a problem, we use money as a public resource to bail out institutions, right? Right. Uh, I mean, the water company, for example, water is a public resource. The water companies make a little profit on issuing water or providing water to everyone. Like banks make a lot of money issuing money to everyone. Yeah. So there's big difference, right? Yeah. There's some there's some <laughs> theorists who say maybe we could go outside the banking system uh -huh. and issue money directly to people, for example. Yeah. And it seems like the wealthy get bailed out with money more than the poor get helped yeah. up with money. Mayor Rothschild, who is the sort of the, the father figure of the Rothschild family, he says essentially, "I don't care who writes the rules, just give me the power to create money." Hmm. So there's an alliance between the government and the banks. The government essentially says to the banks, "You can create the money, you can make money on these loans, but give us the capacity to borrow as much as we want." So it's un really an unholy alliance, some scholars write, about between banking and government.